Hi guys and welcome back here. We are here with part 23 of our Wrath of Sparta campaign with myself, Poke, John Paul and Scrim. Gaming. Hello. So we are carrying on from the last episode where we had an amazing siege battle for Agia or however you pronounce that name. I, but, I call um, it Agia. Yeah, eh. Agia. Yes, that'll, that'll do with me. So uh, we have decided on a plan of Scrim will take Arnisa. I know that cuts off my expansion, but I mean, it did kind of anyway, him taking Agia. Um, but I will probably go through and carry on because we have military access. I'll probably go on through and just conquer some of these places anyway. Oh but yeah, I mean I, we're at a stage where we're just going to take out Athens and then uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a good game, GG. And then um, and then I will turn around with this Griffin Grace army temporarily to deal with these Macedonian bugs. We'll call them. <laughs> While I um, deal with that, I will send this army, the Sons of Ares, Oops. up to take Antigonia and. Uh, then we have dealt with Macedon, and Macedon is gone. After lots of annoying diplomacy, well, not annoying diplomacy, annoying um, attacking us and trying to like take Olynthos and all that from me, we're finally destroying it. But yeah, happy days. Happy days. So yep, yeah, Scrim, if you want to do whatever you yeah. have to do. I literally just quickly took out the last army. Unfortunately, it took out another archer unit, so that was not the wisest. But um, uh, yeah, no, I'm just gonna one, two, three. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine. So I need another hoplite unit. I might just spend a turn quickly replenishing my troops. I'll get my hammer of what's his face to go and take out that iron settlement up north because mm -hmm. they're there. Um, so these guys can replenish and they can have a good time and have a bath and all that fun stuff. Excellent. So that'll take two turns to do. That's fine. I've still got 5,000 in the bank. Um, gonna do some, gonna upgrade to a gym or Gymnasia to a blah 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 in one of my settlements. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not sure what to do because unfortunately I'm, I'm restricted by food currently. So I'm going to take two from there. That will take nothing actually, which is good. So, um, Agia will carry on with the hoplite barracks. I'll probably remove the hoplite barracks from Pharaos now because I just don't need it there because that's not where my own settlement is. So, yeah. goodbye barracks. Give me some. Um, give me some decent income actually. Um, I don't know if I've got much to do now. That's so, fair enough. Oh, my major army can get another tradition upgrade. So I could do stalwart defences, which is 10 round during defence battles and just basic all round defences. Oh, well. What are we going to do for uh, battle hardened, campaign map movement, enemy morale minus 5 and plus 5 for my units. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I might do that. Because I'll get it fully upgraded. Ooh, that's some beefy units. Let's look at my politics. We're still pretty much protected. These guys are minus 17 because they're bastards. <laughs> um, everyone's pretty happy in public order, though, apart from my newly acquired province, which is understandable. Uh, I'm just going to quickly check out allegiances since you pointed out to me the other turn. And yep. Oh, God damn it. They're not happy? They are, but the one province is under the influence of the other faction, so, so I need to keep them happy by next turn, which is frustrating. You can always um, put math, like, is it, I don't know which province it is, but you can always um, put the edict on, like, loyalty to you for a bit. It might change it. Yep, I, in fact, no, I can do that, and I will. <laughs> yeah. Turn loyalty to political party ruling this province. Yep, uh, no, I'll do that. So that gives them plus 10. I've got a couple of the provinces that are loyal to others, but I'm ca I can live with it. Oh, I can do some trading. Excellent. Low. Okay, the non-aggression pact. Low. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Maybe not. Persian Empire. No, the the neutral would be no, that's all right. It's only a league, my friends. I would say, Persians definitely don't like me. Athens, the war, Byzantine, Ionian League. Can I make peace with any of them at this point? No. No, pretty much a total war at this point, so that's fine. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to end my turn. Fair enough. Oh, Nemean Games. I can sponsor an athlete, back a competitor. Um, I'll back a competitor. Spend a thousand. Oh, growth. Excellent. And break here. What do we need? We can do outskirts. We could do subterranean aqueduct. Or we could do a public forum. I'll do some aqueducts. 
Oh, Bill's some aqueducts. Aqueducts, quack quack. Quack quack indeed. Aqu aqua. Aqu aqua. Aqua quack aqu ducks. <laughs> I don't know why ducks came to mind there. Who knows? Okay, I can't reach that other army either, so we're going to keep military sabotaging it as well. Ah, successful. Excellent. Have you been upgraded? No. Sadness. Um, and then I'm going to upgrade Athens's barracks, I've decided. Um, so I can then produce better units in Lorien for this army that's dotted around. So we're going to build some hoplites um, this turn. And then I'm going to... Hmm, or do I do it this turn or wait? Anyway, I'm going to put a technology in bronze ram. So we have better fire rate and damage for ships. Faithless. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at my traits and my guy wants Faithless. Oh. The temple? Why would I want to go there? Foul-mouthed. What a bitch shit for brains. Anyway, Griffin Grace? Oh, I can't even reach the centaurs or Macedons like armies. Well, I'm turning it around. And we'll deal with the Macedonian armies that are a problem here. And then, um... Oh, I don't know. Do I recruit? Do I, what? This army. How much money you got per turn? Oh, I can I can recruit. I can have got five thousand nine hundred. I'm gonna, recruit. yeah, five thousand. No, not nine hundred. Five thousand and nine. Um, in that. So there we go. Declared war on the secessionists. So I'm now taking Caristios from them. Um, Happy days. I have a large fleet. Oh, they have really good um, armor. Level three armor. Iron something for the win. Yeah. Whether I fight this though is a different question. I might do. You take, is Antogi you taking? No, no, Ky Kyristos. The iron salmon. Oh yeah, I just I just realised I can't see it, so I'm just. Like... Oh. Um. I'll fight it. Oh, let's have a look. See, I'm actually play I find it amusing that I'm playing the people that I want to destroy. They're my bloody rebels. Yeah, this will be a close one. It should be It'll close be an anyway. One. My fleet is just so leveled up, though. <laughs> oh, and what do I do with my men? That's the question. Your garrison fleet's pretty good, though. You've got some armoured hoplites. Yeah, they're pretty beefy. Well, armoured marines, in fact, which are basically just hoplites on on a boat. <laughs> mm. The thing is, I could send them in to take out your fleet, but I don't feel... <sighs> but then I have my entire army that's just... Yeah, exactly. So I could do that, and your army will take it myself. And I feel like I need to beach them, get them into defensive formations. Maybe. Because um, taking out your fleet wouldn't... With your army, because my 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 garrison enough. Hmm. Yeah. I guess we're back at another generic village of number of twenty-seven. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is one we fought over like a dozen times anyway. Yeah, actually, that's very true. Oh, we fought over this one and Andros loads of times. Which is why we like. Oh yeah, it's a generic generic city but really it's just because we keep fighting at the same spots and we can't yeah. hold on to these two points that's more what it is I think <laughs> oh there's a little uh, piece of land sticking out the sea here it's it's raining <laughs> it's raining is boring the old man is snoring oh uh, yeah I'm gonna definitely beach my um beach my units because I need to deal with your army because my, my garrison's nothing uh, fair enough Garrison's nothing. There's this, no point losing is... all my infantry, taking out your guys. Yeah. So it I is think... a beefy fleet. All right, I'm I'm just gonna ready up because there's not much I can do. Yeah. Uh, they're all just archers, aren't they? <laughs> they're all just archers. <laughs> Actually. Put you there. Oh no. Here we go. 
Okay, it's taking out one of mine. Yeah. This is purely just to slow you down, because his archers have done nothing in their strength. Oh, you got through though. One got through. <laughs> oh, the transport. Oh, your army's transport fleets. Yeah. I thought they were coming in from land. You might get one. Ah, uh, no, you didn't. <laughs> I got it. Oh, no, because you beached into me. Huzzah! And now we're ramming you anyway. <laughs> They're ramming your ships. Oh my god. Oh, you, chaos. you buggered it. Oh, that hurt. Well, it's giving me time to beach my men, so that was kind of the idea. And, you, oh. and even then, I just you didn't even glance that final one. Oh my god, there's just so much chaos. Right. A little bit. Right. Um, how how the hell? I thought your army's coming in by land. I thought you. No, I have now. I wasn't saying anything, Scrim. I know what you oh, what you would have done if you'd known that. <laughs> oh, uh. If you'd known that, you would have. If uh, I get all my infantry, I can cover just one side because they're not big enough. You bastard! You lie to me. <laughs> I'm not, it's not yeah. lying. It's just misinforming you. <laughs> misinforming. Well, I've got my battle lines ready, so this is all I can do. Oh man, I thought they were coming in by. Yeah, you may have had a. That might have been an interesting fight if you'd uh, had to. I mean, I would have still outnumbered you though. For every ship that I had for my navy, I still outnumbered yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. I was so just... I could have just gone man for man and still what. And my transports would have got safely ashore. Oh dear. Well, I'm gonna three times it because I literally can't do anything. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna let me just dedicate all my ships to actually finding a place for them to land. This takes forever. Apparently takes forever. I can't even land all my army anyway. Actually, no. Not this is, just not, this is it isn't actually a big army. That's why. <laughs> Entire unit has perished. Thanks for that. Sadness. It's, well, at least I take out my successionist. So thank you for that. I think. You're welcome. I uh, have trust issues again. I'm looking at that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that I hear. Uh, I need a win. I need a win, Scrim. You need a win. <laughs> I haven't had one. It's all right. You're doing, you're doing me a favor, technically. But um, I honestly thought your army was actually on land, and I was just gonna steamroll in. Yeah, but um, evidently you're gonna do it by sea. I should have stayed. You got cavalry. There we go. You got yeah. cavalry. I have some cavalry thought... there coming in by land. Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, like cavalry don't do well against spears, regardless. So. Yeah, they're just waiting, waiting for a good opportunity. I'm boxed in. I don't think there'll be any good opportunity for them, unfortunately. Yeah, it's true. It's whether I land everything. Probably should. Let's land everything. We'll use all the archers. They can't reach from the shore, so we might as well use them. Oh shit, yeah, you've got range units, haven't you? Oh crap. <laughs> yeah, you're in a bit of trouble. Is there a concede defeat? Because uh, you're just going to demolish me with everything you've got range-wise. There'll be nothing left. Yeah, the Corinthian uh, fleet is uh, been well well funded. Put it like yeah, that. Yeah, I've uh, noticed. Yeah, we uh, we put a lot of money into it, <laughs> which oh. is what I've been doing for like the last however many turns. Okay, can we? I'm Bollocks slowing this down. It. Yeah, I'm slowing this down. Bollocks to it. I'm gonna do what I would have done in this situation, which is just do as much damage as I can. Because your rage units just demolish my line, so fuck it. In we go. I'm just a bit scared. Just a little bit. I'm a little bit scared. Uh, click, click, click. That's what I want you to do. It's just constantly moving. <laughs> I'm, all I'm doing is just moving um, missile unit after missile unit after missile unit, like, along. Oh, 
I know it's under attack. I've just sent them in just to do damage. <laughs> do damage now. I'm not gonna let your archers and everything have the fun. Um, can you land, please? Thank you. Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Oh god, I can't. <laughs> Damn it. Well, I've got my militia hoplites to hold the final battle line if necessary. Ah. Excellent. I might just fast forward this again. This is, uh, it's just going to be a grudge match. Um. Yeah, give me a minute. There's got a lot to move. That's just all. Oh, yeah, there, 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 there goes my left flank. Being demolished. Oh yeah, ouch! I need to stop that because it's probably doing a lot of friendly fire. Yeah, I just saw one of your guys go down as well. Yeah, can you stop doing that, please? <laughs> oh, there's your. Yeah, cavalry's just appeared. Felt like my entire up. plan was based on you having an army on land. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, hey no. there, buddy. I didn't How you doing? Even know. I didn't realize you had no ammunition. <laughs> no ammunition already. Uh, some, some of my yeah, some of my arch marines yeah had no ammunition. Uh, and that's what pulled back. Uh, I didn't even realize I had spare hoplites. That's always a good feeling having spare hoplites. Oh my god, you're demolishing my guys. Oh, there's your cavalry. Ah, oh, people are messaging me. Oh no. I believe it's an old group of friends of mine. We're going to do a gaming channel together, don't really work. Oh, sad. Maybe because we, we forgot to talk about it when we were oh. going to. Uh, it always Please helps to the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Yeah, like, lots of my arch... Um, my um, men are out of ammo, actually. There we go. Now... Here fire. we go. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sending in like marines to be honest now. <laughs> I'm just inspiring my general to carry on fighting. Actually, no, no, no. Just go there. <laughs> Actually, don't even do that. Who? Out of you, who still has ammo? Not many of you. Oh my god, you can reach from there? Wow, my slingers can reach a long way. Um, can you pull out? I don't really want to just whoever you are in combat. Thank you. Um, I'm still trying to find. Oh, you don't have ammo, and you don't have ammo. We'll send you in. You just go <laughs> They're just expendable at this point, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, my my javelin men flee out of sheer fear. Yeah. It's always oh. handy. Oh, wow. I'm conceding defeat. I'm not... I'm not... You're not even gonna bother. <laughs> oh, There's I'm no... Uh, no, no, it's fine by me. I was just like... My entire plan got ruined. Well, you destroyed one of my archer units. Yay! My... So... I just didn't see the point of just sitting there, just like, just watching it, so I was just like, Sodid. Sodid was the f well... Sorry to take your, your victory from you like that, but fine. it was just a... Hey, it's you fine. got an Iron Salmon though, and I've got my uh, Civil War people killed off. Yeah, well, just for another one to happen, probably. Well, hopefully I'll keep them happy, so... <laughs> I can Sorted. Help. Um, alright, so... You need... Oh, hmm... My defense skill, please. Thank you. Um, so that yeah, that army's done its job. And uh, now let's do. I don't think. This... Oh, I've got money to spend. Money to spend. Money, money, money. Yes, yeah, money to spend on brothels. Some... <laughs> no scrim. I'm a responsible man. Um. There we go. We'll spend it on on a barracks. I'm on six thousand a turn. 
Wow, I'm on five five thousand seven hundred seventy-two. But we're about to go into winter, as well to say. So. <laughs> oh yeah, watch that go down like one thousand. Yep, if not less. Um, oh God, that's a terrifying thought. Yeah, so I'll end the turn and we'll see uh, how much money I have at the end of it. Probably none. Here goes Athens on summon. It's doing summon or other. I feel like I should probably put an army in Dion now if they're moving their navies like that. Maybe. Well, actually, I should build a navy. Yes, build. Build a navy. Boop, 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 you see, even aren't known for nothing. your navies. What is Sparta doing exactly? They're just kind of kicking about. Their purpose now is redundant because they made peace with Athens. Now let's hope they don't attack us. Yeah. Or you, more to the point, they're in Athens. I was going to say, then. Corinth like, uh, earns me 3,900. So if they take Corinth... Oh god. <laughs> that goes the economy. <laughs> I want good pretty good terms with them, so I should be fine. Yeah. I think I'm on okay terms. I don't think we have any we might have military access and that's about it, I think I have now with maybe trade. I think I might have trade with them. I don't know why they broke it either. It was very strange. Oh. December apparently is still autumn. Yeah, I've just seen that. Yeah, I'm on seven thousand a turn now. <laughs> Apparently. Right, moving my army up north. I can damn near go to our, our Nissa actually, so I'm just going to move all the way in. Nice. Force march, going quite a long way. Very nice. Yeah, um, not a lot to do. Oh, I can do it now. I can spend my money now on upgrading people. I will money, do it. money, money. There we go. I have very little money at the end of this go left, but. <laughs> Well, that's minus three, but I'm about to get a lot. Yep, I'm going to upgrade my city again. Still got 10,000 nearly. Oh, 5,000 now, 5,000 later. Hmm. Here we go. Upgraded. Very nice. Everything's level one armor and weapons. Very nice. Very nice. Do you have to upgrade the settlement to get level two and then level three? No, not the settlement main building, no. Oh, all right. So no, I've got level 3 barracks in the gear, which I'm going to put in Arnissa instead at some point. Um, I haven't got a lot to do. Oh, faction destroyed. Boatian successionists. A Boatian successionist. Yeah. I ain't got nothing to do, so. Very nice. Um, a riot has started in your capital. You suspect it is instigated by one of the other political parties. How do you react? Accuse them public. Accuse them private. Crush the riot. I'll crush the riot without even successful games. Ah, plus four public order in all provinces. Excellent for four turns. Path blocked. How dare someone block my path? Um, I'm gonna put you back in there for now. We built more ships. To Scrim's dismay, probably mm. <laughs> and horror that I could build more. Um, but we'll then... I'm going to force March to catch up with these guys. You could probably take over Ebo if you wanted to, thinking about it. I probably could if I wanted to. And I might. I might, Scrim. Might as well, it did nothing for me. Hey, I failed, but I recouped the cost of my attempt. I might... T I'm wanting to probably take Kokaira at one point because, um... They, uh, had a starvation problem a food problem that's the one there we go got there eventually a food problem right i'm gonna upgrade okay, have a shrine have in Uboa. so we sort out the happiness and then i don't know i'll do something oh the army could come ashore actually no i want to put it back in lorian lorian because that's where i've got all the good recruitment now we can upgrade this army to have Oh, I can't do all of them. How many can I do? Oh, not many. Oh, that many. <laughs> not all of the... Can't recruit make all the armies uh, look really good. And I can't even make my like my main army, which is not really my main army. Oh. The one that has my Pizalius in, he can't even have uh, upgraded. I just realised something. What? So, with... Well, let's check my politics quickly. Oh, wow. So, Cyphers of Poseidon are now plus 31 um, blah, 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 uh, loyalty. Mm. So, I checked on my province they control. Uh, trustworthy lo local party, minus three construction costs in all my settlements because they are loyal to me. Excellent. 
That's a nice little buff. I did not realise that existed. No, me neither. That's really good. Um, there we go. Yeah, I might take a Ubo if I can find the time and the effort to do it. Yeah, it's a good little money maker. Um, it's just rebels. So in the other way, you can leave them alone, and they're a real buffer for me, for you and me, because yeah. they just doom stacks sat on top. Yeah, that's the problem that the doom stacks. It's going to take a lot of effort to bring bring down the uh, settlement. It would do. I'd say just leave them so Athens and stuff can deal with them if they really want to, and if they can, then you just swoop oh, up and take yeah, what's I'll left. Yeah, I'll probably just take Kyristos and Andros and make these two very happy with uh, whatever they need. So, I think I will uh, end my turn, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Athenae. They're running out of settlements and things to do. Yeah, they really are. They're like, ah, what to do now? I mean, if we take those ones in the north, then they've uh, got no wall settlements anymore. And, uh, yeah, I'm and more will, worried about the... that'll damage oh, the, that'll damage their uh, economy. And if we and I imagine they have a lot of food up there as well because they must be running out of uh, they have still have a lot of navies and armies, so they must be uh, running out of food to supply all these armies soon. The one I'm worried about is the Finger Province because that's oh. two naval settlements which I don't have a navy to defend with. Oh, the Tyrone. Well, I'll take the uh, Finger settlement if you want to. I'll leave like them to you, Tyrone or wherever it is. I'm kind of happy. Well, it means I can retake my old colonies. You can indeed. I just hope you do it soon, though, because I don't want to, like, travel past them and get ambushed from the back. Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah. Hammers of blah, blah, blah. Well, you can do it if you want to, and I can always just keep an eye on it with uh, my navy, if I ever get one there. Yeah, go for it. I don't, you know... <laughs> I'll go for that one. Sorry, I'm upgrading my general. All right, let's take over Zion settlement. Let's get back to full glory of... um. Oh yeah, winter's here. Minus four thousand. Jeez, I've not had that. No, I mean, no, no, no. That's how much I've lost. So I'm yeah. on a thousand per turn now. Oh, I've not had that uh, that buff yet. So I'm still apparently earning six thousand a turn until it turns to my turn. All Surprisingly, the... and shields or armor and shields. Yeah, blacksmith time. Excellent. Now, while I've got a chance, I can upgrade them all to have level 1 weapons, so then when I get my blacksmith, I get level 1 weapons and free armour, so... Mm. Happy days. Yeah, you do need to upgrade uh, everything for level 3 um, shields and swords. Yeah, I mean, depending on the thing you go down, so if you go down um, shield the armourer... Shield maker only allows level 1 and 2. Uh, level 2, and then... Blacksmith straight to level three. Yeah, but then blacksmith gives you the third one gives you level three weapons, but the armor only gives you level two weapons and level one armor. I have to upgrade that again. So it's a really weird upgrading system because the shield maker is better. Well, I'm gonna go for it anyway because it's less food. To uh. Oh, very true. I'm going for blacksmith because level three armor and shields is just beast, and then I can get level three weapons later, which I'm not sure if I want to do. I can always downgrade and upgrade as he fit, I suppose, as I get armies. Yeah. But... Then again, a good in this the way I see it, a good offense is a good defense, and we're all mm. hot lights, so it's worked out so far. Yeah. Um, I need to not concentrate on food though, because I'm gonna have to take a big chunk out of it soon. So, uh, we'll leave all that going. I'm gonna leave that going. I think. Dion is upgrading now. Um, about to lose it's four, five, six. <sighs> we should be good. <laughs> we should. I be say. Good. In the meantime, my other army is damn near for five turns to full replenishment. I'm going to move them to the edge of my province now. Wow, that's a lot of unhappiness. Um, I need to do something about that quick. Oh, right, that's just going to have to go. Some beautiful water to save my throat. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Conquest, minus 30. Oh, that's all right. I can... Mm. Poor you that you could nearly have a full state and then of Macedonia and then it's just me there taking Argos. <laughs> Hello. I'm just like, hi, I'm still a thing. I'm still a thing. Well, so if you want to take over the finger problems with your navy, the, the boot... oh, this is what I was worried about. What? Mende has an army being built. Uh... Two armies that being built. I'm going to have to do something about that. Well, if you want to take that, that's fine. It's more than... Um, I'm more than happy with you taking those provinces. I can go after like Amphipolis and. I think Kindlis has a gold settlement in there, so that'd be good for income. Does it? Oh. No, I believe so. Yeah. 
I'm not sure. I'll send my spy in, but yeah, it might do. Pretty sure that's the case. Yeah, there's no but there's no armies kicking about, so. I wonder if Athens has gone full navy at this point because all I all I've seen is navy. I mean, there is one army in Andros. There's a twenty stack in Andros, but um, who knows? And uh, who knows? Andros, Andros actually unfortunately has two food cell, uh, food buildings, so um, that's probably where they're getting most of their food from. Andros. And they guard and they're guarding it with a <laughs> guarding it with a twenty stack. That's the most guarded farm in the entire Greece. Yeah, literally. Um, um, got nothing to do again. I've I've looked around. Bronze ram, excellent. Right in the capital, I sorted it out in uh, all impressed with my display of power. Plus five loyalty for five turns. Sweet. That is excellent. So I could secure more loyalty. Uh, I'm down to one thousand four hundred and ninety. I I shot I shot up to two thousand because of Arnissa, but I'm about to lose all that income again because I'm obviously getting rid of my farms there. Yeah. Ooh, Put a nice little uh, hoplite barracks in there. Reinforced prowls. Plus five melee attack for skill of all units. Plus five melee defense for skill of all units. Plus five ship health. Excellent. So no more ramming me and killing me in one hit, probably. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Or maybe, or it might not be tr that true, and it might still be a one hit, and it's just that they're really weak. <laughs> Which is also possible. Um, right, let's finally upgrade the final amount of all my what? armies. Um... Uh, what? How much more, more, more turns? How many more turns? Oh. English, do English Pope. Three more turns oh. till proper Hippias. So we want to get some more hot plates while we wait. Region wealth. Wow. Oh, 2,000 to upgrade all my, uh, that whole army there. That's nasty. What's this? This is a fleet. Upgrade it while you got a level one blacksmith or whatever, and then when you get to level two, keep yeah. all Oh, I have been, don't worry. That's what I've been doing. Um, I also probably don't have enough now to upgrade it. Oh, I actually need I need tech. That's why. Um, um, oh yes, we're going for Antigona. That's it. Um, let's move the spy first. That'll be a smart thing to do. Let's see what's here. Oh, and that army's disappeared. Has it turned around and gone back the way it came? Yeah, it has. Cheeky thing. <laughs> hmm. Do I think I could defend it though? We'll see. Um, I'm literally oh, the only reason why Macedon still lives. So. <laughs> so oh, Macedon's uh, last settlement, isn't it? Yeah, and I'm literally outside it now. Oh wow. So yeah. I might. Let's yeah, I'm trying to finish them anyway. Hopefully, then they don't. I could subjugate them. <laughs> it could do. I mean, what I've realised with the pacifist trait on the subs of Poseidon, I get minus five loyalty per faction about war with. So you take them out, I've got you kicking mm. Yeah. Uh, I need... Overcame succession plus 36. No wonder they're loyal with me. Mm. I mean, I didn't overcome it. You took them out. Yeah, military list um, for one of mine. So it's plus two loyalty for every three for three turns for each military victory. Um, up to six per, six per turn. So that's pretty good. That's for Disciples of Zeus. Sweet. And then the other one's Diplomat, so that's plus one loyalty. For every case where the player has more than 100, 100 positive relations with another faction, minus one loyalty for having less than 100% with another faction. So they must hate me because I am not on good terms with anyone in the world. Only you. Athens. Athens is uh, killing your diplomacy here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I can't, even do it. I can't even do anything. I am literally was looking to see... You can't whether... even do non-aggression pact with me. Yeah, because... Uh, well, I could. But oh. that's against the rules of the games, isn't it? I think we do non-aggression, but I'm not sure if that'll stop us fighting each other as AI, which uh, is obviously the big one. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know. I'm just leaving it. Yeah, um, we'll formally yeah, agree only, we're on a non-aggression. Yeah, I have uh, 67 <laughs> relations with you, so that's pretty that, good. That's pretty good, but it's not 100, so I get that bit of loyalty. That one, actually, Melos might like me a lot. Oh, Melos actually you? hate me, <laughs> but they're my client. I will listen. What jokes. I love how they're still there. It's like, yeah, we hate you, but we're pretty content. Then. Yeah. Well, it's also just more like they, they um, were at war with me and then they peaced out, but they became client state. It was very strange. That's um, all right. You're getting a bit of tribute from them. You've got a pretty... You can probably, if you get a war target, you can... Mm, yeah, it's true. Like, taking out roads would be a good start in Kronimpia. Well, I, I did a uh, war target for Andros but, for ages ago, but they've not moved, so... <laughs> 
Uh, I don't know. Sounds like Three Kingdoms to me. I put yeah. war targets on them, they do nothing. I'm gonna. Ooh, let's see. Water tank. Minus six food. Minus three food. Minus two. I think I'll go down fountain because it costs less food. Fountain. A fountain? Yeah, I'm building a. Uh, well, I've got an aqueduct on the way. Uh, done. So now it's a f building a fountain. So I'm, where is this? It's an unbreaker. Does it have an aqueduct outside? Like they do with the room? The base game? No. There's no aqueduct model. Oh, so. the Royal Tombs of Macedon plus Public Aid's order. 25% wealth for manufacturing and commercial stimulation plus 10 from industry. And Mount Olympus plus public for order of 4 per turn. Why didn't I have the settlements before? It would have stopped all my rebel bloody yeah. annoyances. I've got all the public order in the world now. Well, it's a shame you didn't have them. Um, have it, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to do some more marines. There we go. More marines. End the turn. And then we'll uh, probably wrap this episode up at the uh, start of Scrum's turn. Aye, oh, indeed. Because, uh, Let's see, what, uh, see what's kicking off first. Yeah, so... uh, Sparta is the... Yeah, right, oh, okay. Sparta's just... got like a big stack that it's just throwing around through our territory now. Both our capitals, I should mention as well. Yeah. Byzantium's moving up from one of our settlements, but that's my biggest, yeah. most elite army it's facing and it's not even full, so good luck to you, I'd yeah, say. I, can't, I was going to say, I can't even see Byzantium now. It's sad. Kokaira is deciding to move stuff. Oh! It... Kokaira has been taken by the Aetolian League. Have they actually? Ha! Ah! Outstanding. Wait, where's that? That's a random little province off to the left of... Uh, it's like part of Epirus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was planning uh... on taking it, but uh, Aetolian League have gone and taken it, so... They're Fantastic. expanding, and uh, oh, that's a bit scary. A noble daughter appears before you for her plea. Her mother, a very influential woman, insists on sending her to the temple of Athena, where she is only to become a priestess of weaving. Humbly, the girl asks us to let her serve the city planning council. For what I've heard, she is a great student of mathematics and a tutor is indeed very proud of her. Should we intervene, refuse, plus a thousand, or hire an important character? What should I do, Pope? Hire her. Okay, I've hired her. But um, yeah, we'll pick that the uh, campaign up very, very soon. You, there'll be more coming out very, very soon. If you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And uh, in the next episode, hopefully we can deal with Macedon. And until yeah, next well time, bye for now.